You may have heard the buzzwords floating around recently, farm to table or field to fork. That's having a major impact on the Pittsburgh region. Not only are we eating better, fresher food, but it's also having a major impact economically. Don Brinkle's family has been in the farming business for 70 years. 300 well, acres is a lot of hard work. Grow tomatoes and peppers, zucchini, yellow squash, cucumbers, pickles, eggplant, sweet corn, oh yeah. <laughs> He'd often wondered how much longer this family legacy would last. But six years ago, a phone call changed everything. So what time do people start picking? 7 o'clock in the morning. Eaton Park Restaurant asked about getting fresh local produce. It was awesome. I mean, it, uh, it could be profitable, you know, instead of, we farmed just because it was in our blood, you know, but. Uh, now you can make a living. Now you can make a living. And then plus another generation. Before the farm to table catchphrase took off nationally, Eaton Park began using more than 150 local farms. Taste is uh, the king. And uh, so we found that locally grown products just simply taste better. He says helping the local farmers was just a great side benefit. The farm to table boost seems to be happening everywhere. In fact, the last U.S. Census shows nationally there are 4% fewer farms, but the overall agriculture profits are at all time highs, going up 24% in just five years. Breaking down the numbers in Pennsylvania, you can see there are about 3,800 fewer farms. But take a look at this. When it comes to profit, net farm cash income is up 50% in Pennsylvania. And the farm to table movement has become so significant, the U.S. Census is now collecting new numbers on products farms sell directly to restaurants. Those sales secured this farm's future. Restaurants big and small making a difference. The Supper Club opened in the former Greensburg train station. And when planning the menu, the owners want diners to realize the food they see on the menu came from this area. So if we're getting it from five miles down the road or even, you know, in our backyard, then we're going to, it's going to be allowed to get to the perfect ripeness to the, the peak of its flavor before it's taken off the vine or taken off the tree or pulled out of the ground. Just take a look at this smoked cheese, tomatoes, beets and pepper jelly all from Western Pennsylvania. Oh, that's good. Yeah, he does a really, really nice job. With the I've never had anything like that. Thanks. Don remembers how taking his produce to the strip district was always a struggle. They didn't really care about local farmers. They cared about the big guys, the California, New Jersey guys. And and uh, they didn't like us local farmers at all. But now that is changing. It's more than a celebration of food. It's a celebration of the future. Try that. I'll have one with you. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Wow. Michelle Wright, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.